And we're on to segment two. All right, so she's going to save it, so just, just to talk nonsense. So we're going to interview... Oh, no, I already saved it. We're on the second. Oh, we're on the second. Are we on right now? Are we yeah. breaking? No, no we're just quick. right on, huh? Yes, she well, I guess I better boom. not have to pee. <laughs> no, you better not. Well, if you got to pee, it. you let me know. I'll stop the recording. You can go pee. Okay. Or, or you can just go. Right. <laughs> I've done that before on the show. And we can carry on without you. Jessica Vegas, no, not at all. And Aww. she loves you. I love her. So... Jessica, are you, I, I would assume, if you're not dating, like when I was not dating, it was, you were working on yourself, right? Usually when you decide, I'm not going to date for a while. You're working on your own thing. You're either working on your own things or you're fucking sick and tired of the douchebags that are out there and you right. need a break from right. them. Right. That's right. more than likely what usually happens when you take a break. A one-year sexual hiatus. Well, that's just fucking ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hers didn't turn out into, hers didn't start as a self-inflicted hiatus. It until six months into it. Right. She had just not been sleeping with anybody for six months and said, fuck it, I'm just going the whole year. But she did masturbate, right? A lot. <laughs> you see that one arm is bigger than the other. <laughs> that was right after that you had to have your carpal tunnel surgery. <laughs> Actually, I have had that. <laughs> That's how you know you're doing it right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's start with our official interview of Miss Jess M. Baker, the militant baker, who is um, a mental health professional. Mm -hmm. So what does that mean? What is what, what is that exactly? We're all fucking nuts. <laughs> <laughs> it means that um, I work with rehabilitating adults that have mental illness, and I do it in a restaurant setting. So basically what we do is we're trained mental health professionals, and I'm a baker as well. And hence the militant baker, and hence this tattoo. <laughs> this is awesome. It's a mixture. It's great. Right. That's, awesome. that's, that's, that's a KitchenAid. No, that's that's the colors, colors, I know. Like colors are beautiful. Thanks. Their colors are beautiful. But we train them to, to go out and find their own jobs. Now, when you say, are these people that say, um, maybe have a mental issue all their life, is, or is this like people that are bipolar or maybe P PTSD? What type of mental issues do they have or in maybe Tucson, we have in our in our behavioral health system you have to be enrolled in that which means that you're seeking help and treatment and okay have a diagnosis so so basically it's like out here i think we have opportunity village and they have mock hotel rooms and stuff like that set up to teach um yeah. them how to work out so it's basically Training something like that okay. yeah yeah, yeah that's awesome in a restaurant though because that is so employable you know there's, oh yeah there's so many you of them always need to eat food so yeah, it's, yeah, a, it's great. It. I love okay, it. and then not only are you a professional um, health, mental health professional, you're also not just a regular chef, you're a pastry chef. Yep. <gasps> Fat girls love you. <laughs> <laughs> she makes cupcakes, motherfucker! <laughs> People either love me or they hate me because they are just, you know, at work, they're like, no, okay. <laughs> Okay, that, fine. Has that always been a, a thing for you? You just always loved baking? No. You know, I grew up Mormon my entire life. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. uh, well, yeah. I made it out okay, and it turned out fine. So, um, but, you know, so I kind of rejected all of that. My entire life, the whole domestic homemaking thing. And then once I kind of started to figure out shit on my own, I found baking as a profession, and I loved it. Oh, that's cool. I never cool. started scrapbooking or anything, but I did start to bake, which is really fun. Do you have a, do you have a signature pastry? It, it starts to, it tends to fluctuate. Right now, I'm just obsessed with pies, you know, and for a while... Is there one in your pies. bag back there? For <laughs> oh, I guess you're in a hotel. How are you going to make it to pie, right? <laughs> I'll be going down to a convenience store. <laughs> That's how Mama became a, a regular on the show. She started bringing us fucking homemade cake pops, and we were like, yeah. Oh, we're at the, yeah. At the studio. I have to ask you a question <laughs> about the wrench. <laughs> the wrench. That's the plumber. Oh! oh memory of... Is that for every guy? Um, mm, no, just yes, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Only the ones that stuck around for more than two years. Mother dear. No, yeah, I'm oh, a mama's girl. One. Mm -hmm. Is that a this shoe? This is Shel Silverstein. Are you guys familiar with him? Yeah. Free Kahlo. CTR is from, it's called She's the Right. Um, it's part, it's very, a Mormon lingo, yeah. Very Mormon thing. Yeah, very, um, sacrilegious to get into Now, is your support. family all still involved in the Mormon church? Uh, my, part of my family is, my mom's not. Okay, I was gonna say, like, when you go home to mom with all these tattoos and she's ready to go to, you know, 
Jappel or whatever. Right, yeah. yeah. No, my mom and I are pretty close. Oh, that's they're cool. also fun. They've come to accept me as the black sheep, and it's cool. I'm okay with that. <laughs> every, every Mormon family has to have one of them, You're otherwise right. you can't be accepted into the temple. <laughs> Oh, okay. I guess I'll take one for the team. <laughs> and then you're also an ex art major. Yeah. So uh, we we used one of your pictures that you sent for one of the ads that we put up, where you have this big floor piece. It's yeah. A beautiful blue painting. That I roll I rolled around naked in. Oh, it's so, so fun. fun. Body printing, you guys have to do it. It is so. Fun. We've been wanting to do it. Talking about <laughs> you and my friend Leora, who does a lot of the photography for me, she um, did that while she was in college for art as well and so we were trying to come up with like some really great ideas for some profiles because i write for Volup too are you guys familiar yes, with them yes. okay so i write for them um there's a really cool kelly drinkwater article that interview that came out i was so excited about it <laughs> anyways you cover your entire floor in paper and you use tempered paint mostly washes out i did have blue legs for a while <laughs> <laughs> you cover yourself and then you just roll and there was like the coolest little boob prints and then you that's know, what we were gonna do just do like boom yeah yeah, yeah. And you can anyone anyway, it was awesome and then i just put a dress on over the top of it so it was you know able to use it everywhere now you said art major so you've done more than just rolling around in paint oh yeah so what kind of uh, artwork did you used to do, or do you still like do it as a, a hobby or anything? I do it as a hobby for sure. When I was going to school, I did interior design for several years. I didn't like it because I was really good at it, but I didn't like it because I don't like people paying me to buy them $5,000 rugs. I feel like that's not really doing anything. And so then I went into graphic design and... I'm okay with getting paid to shop. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I had bought a $4,000 rug and kept the extra thousand. <laughs> We have our very own Ponzi in the fucking building. <laughs> it's called being... Um, I think it's really smart. <laughs> and I'm okay? You got your own business going. Yeah. So I did that for a while. I'm in school for social work now because that just makes sense with my career. But yeah, I definitely paint. I do photography on the side. and um, I would assume that your art... Uh, studies has transferred over into your pastries. It has. Yeah. And it's funny that you say that because a lot of people don't realize how useful it is. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. mm -hmm. And then uh, the next thing on your bio says, crazy cat lady. Mm -hmm. How many three. cats does that mean? I, I have read three. It. I read three. It. Three in a very, very small now I went through. Uh, <laughs> I follow very, your. Very house. I follow your militant baker page. I don't. I'm not friends with you personally. So uh -huh. do you post a lot of pictures of your cats, like crazy cat people do? Um. Because yeah. I do. <laughs> well, I have a lot of pictures at my house, but you know, sometimes I save the posts for something more serious. But you know, they're the best roommates I've ever had. So. And what if what if a dog? <laughs> they did the your life. <laughs> <laughs> but neither do I. So. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, plastic oh, I got there before I came over here after like flying around for a while. I was like, paper plates are fine. Yeah. So, so if a dog were to come up and go, take me home, Jess, would you take it home? I mean, are you a dog person at all? There's too much of a commitment. I can't do it. Yeah, you can't leave. You can leave the cats at yeah. home. They're yeah. self-sufficient. Yeah. 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 Throw a couple extra bowls of food out there. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You don't have yeah. to have me come over to feed your dog. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. And then we have Fat Model. Mm -hmm. So you've been doing a lot of modeling. And I have before. I even did runway, which is really fun. Really fun. There's this woman named um, Liz, who's a really good friend of mine. And she's kind of taking over the plus scene in Tucson. And she opened Candy Strike, which is a plus boutique only. And it's amazing. And so she's like the only fashion designer in Tucson that does plus size. And she did plus runway, which was very controversial for some reason. Plus, I'm short, which is really nice, too. So I'm trying to not fit the model quote. But... Um, it was really fun. I loved it. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah. And Did you then, wear really tall heels. Like most well, I didn't want to eat shit on the runway, so <laughs> I wore pretty comfortable like this. Because I can't anything bigger than this. I am not able to really walk. I can pose in pictures. But that's about it. Yeah, my legs are in the air when I got them kind of heels on. Yeah, ain't walking. <laughs> now I've seen legs in the air. Some of, your, only. some of your blogs talk about fashion as well. So you get into that realm where you're talking about fashions for fat girls. And yeah, like that, so. it's kind of so recent. You like the whole fashion I industry. I love it because I think that when you're fat, when you dress. And you don't apologize for your size with your body, it's really political. And people are like expecting you to wear like vertical stripes and hide in the corner and like only wear black. And when you don't do that, it's a huge fucking deal. And well, so I'm starting to realize how awesome it is. Sweet Cheeks and I are both big bikini fans. Yeah! And I, have a, I have a public community pool, and everyone is always very. I, I had a recent experience where I went out with a bunch of much thinner women, and we were all out on a location that needed bathing suits. 
And I wore my bikini and they all wore these long single pieces and cover ups mm-hmm. and shorts and they mm-hmm. were all very uncomfortable mm-hmm. with how comfortable I was mm-hmm. in a bikini. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I seen some of your pictures at the shark pool. Mm-hmm. I've been there in a bikini. Yeah, well, that's false. No. Yeah, what great. I loved was earlier when I was looking at stuff, um, when she said how to have the the swimsuit body in five minutes. Oh, oh I, I love that. that. Yeah, I love it. Put it on. Yeah. <laughs> and I like the optional. I think I will use the optional when I go inside of yeah, with pictures. <laughs> um, strut like you don't care. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. It's so funny, though, part. when you wear, like, bikinis to public pools, and I do yeah. it all the time. It's too damn hot in Vegas to wear one piece, okay? Yeah. You either get, look at her, look at her. <laughs> or you get, or you get things like, you go, girl. Yeah. You know, you get one or the other, you That's know? Yeah. yeah. I definitely have one for this summer, but that one piece was too fucking cute. Oh, I, I can't. Wear oh, oh, no, that was really cute. Those Let's pictures. See, really cute. Yeah. Wendy just said those problems again. Very cute. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna take a quick break real quick. Okay. We'll be back with Jess. Don't go.